Welcome, everybody. This is the Trader Genius Daily Stock Option Review for March 7th, 2019. Our goal is to show you that pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, we don't trade. Well, we can trade, but we're not going to be trading as far as this exercise is concerned on Fridays because I think everyone should have a nice long weekend. And so I'm Scott Hatton, your host. Joining us is Coach Jay, and we're going to be taking a look at March 7th and see if there was any opportunities to make 5, 10, 15 uh, percent. Sometimes we have amazing days and they go a little bit higher, but one of the things you have to understand is there are two emotions that you have to control in order to be a successful trader. One is greed and the other is fear. And of course, greed is when you see that baby just going for the moon and you know it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and, uh, and you stay in too long. So and if you set a goal of 10, 12 percent, uh, that's that's a pretty nice return on your money, and over the course of a year, uh, if you figure that out, it's pretty substantial. So uh, let's not be greedy, let's not be fearful, let's uh, master this uh, software, let's master our minds, let's master the market. I don't know if we can master the market, but we can make sure that the market doesn't master us, and which which translates to take all your money and, and live a good life. So, uh, Coach Jay, how, how, how did we do today? We did pretty good today. Uh, overall, it was a down day on, uh, this is the basket, and this is kind of looking at the day on five-minute candles. And overall, it was a pretty down day with some, some moments uh, a little bit in here in the green going up. And you're, you're absolutely right, Scott. We don't want to let the market master us. And that's through risk management and capital preservation. Those two principles, not trying to uh, wring as, as, as much change out of the market as we possibly can every single time we trade, but being conservative and keeping our risk in line and, and being able to fight on for another day with uh, our account. We don't want to just give it all to the market and put it all on black, as they say. And just let let the uh, let the dice roll. That's not what we're interested in here. So we have a couple trades, and we're the the day was down. But let me bring that back up. The day was down overall. And there was some good runs here in the afternoon, but for the morning time window, we had this big run down, and then really nothing going on. A lot of chops. So there's still some moments in there, but not really those nice big juicy trends that we like. Bring this up. We're going to look at Goog. And get over to one minute candles. And so Goog has already kind of created a little bit of a uh, be able to give us an idea of kind of where it's going to find support at. So just breaking out of the risk zone may or may not be enough uh, for us to decide to get in because it's already established another support line there. And sure enough, it's holding at that support. So we didn't bite on that. We knew better. We knew that there was going to be possibly some resistance or I'm sorry, support with it. So now we're going to wait for our opportunity. I love these that we already have something that's identified as some support. It's then that support is supported because it has some of the similar behavior. It's still providing support there. And this is where I like to say, uh, you, you know, you want to be the lion in the grass waiting at the watering hole. You know, you know that zebra, more likely than not, the time that you're going to be there, a zebra is going to show up versus wandering around in the savanna hot, far away from your watering hole, miserable, trying to look for a trade. That's hunting for trades. We don't want to really want to hunt for trades. We want to stage ourselves for the moment to occur. And there it is. So let's buy a put. And we've got some time to play with here and some strength going on in the market. This is looking pretty nice. It is looking nice. And here's one of the things that I wanted to highlight. Depending on 
how you set up your filters, your filters can be set up in many different ways. And you can get with a coach to, to learn how to do that through our coaching program. But the filters, look at this, volume spike, a breakout, and my filter's coming off. This, is, this trend is going and going, and then volume spike and another confirmation because my filters are going off. So lots of times, the depending on the type of trend, you have building trends, and then I kind of say like uh, bookend trends. In other words, the beginning looks a lot like the ending. So there's still volume, all the things are in there, and filters are just another tool. So it's another indicator that says, hey, this might be a good time to get out. Now, how do I know this is because we have the simulator. So we can test our filters up to eight years worth of stock market data. And I know that my filters go off at certain times depending on the type of trend. And so I see this indicator with this volume spike. Hey, good enough for me, 23%. Yeah, 23%, I can't complain about that. Easy day, and that's just reading reds and yellows and volume in a filter. Uh, it can be that simple if you have the right tools and the right training. So we'll close that one out and go to the SPY. And the SPY is gonna have a, a big moment for us. And does this look familiar from the last trade? Kind of the same setup, a little less um, in the Support, like where Goog had the support, the candles were a little bit smaller, but same kind of thing. Second candle breaks through the last point of support. And buy a put. Nice big volume, candles are being held low. And then, hey, we just happen to be at the right, pl right place at the right time. This doesn't right. happen every time but at this point let's think let's put this into context with people in the market so some people got in here or there roughly speaking and they just just hit the uh hit the jackpot so to speak because of this fortuitous candle this large candle they're going to there's going to be some selling happening because some people just made a lot of percentage or potentially a lot of money depending on how many contracts they were trading. And, so and they're gonna wanna lock in their profit, right? Yep, they're gonna wanna lock in their profit. So let's go ahead and do that too. So we don't get bit in this buying and selling because it may shrink all the way back up here within a minute or two. So we wanna be out and be ahead of that as best we can. And we are hitting line of support here. That has been done. And right here, the daily range is at 103%. I tell you what, it's not every time, but this is definitely worth watching and worth considering, especially when it's in line with a resistance line or a support line. That's, uh, that's my tip for the day. And we'll go ahead and close that out. We have in two trades, 43% in um, nine minutes. I, I'm nice. shutting my computer. Yeah, this is, there, there's no, I'm not even a point looking for a third. Anybody's still trading at this point. Come on, man. <laughs> there's, but there's I got to ask you to go one more minute. Let's just see if it did uh, reverse. Okay. Yeah. So it's no. it starts to, to think about it. And then let's see if it, kicks up the other way and then it starts going the other way yeah Even that was a great great time to get out like warren buffett says when they asked him how'd you make so much money i got in too late and got out too early yeah you want to get out before it's, yeah you want to get that nice cream in the center of the trade right yeah you do we don't want to be they're not going to last for forever and so when you got something that looks good that you're satisfied i mean just happen to be in the right place at the right time for a big candle like this. Man, it's like getting a little extra bonus and you're, 
you're done. You know, yeah. there, there's no reason to go any further. Plus the length overall. I mean, look how long this has been going down. Our expectations should be that, you know, it's going to be relatively short. This just happened to be a really good moment. Yeah. And those things happen when you're in the game, so to speak. You don't hit home runs when you're uh, watching the game. You hit home runs when you're up the bat. And yep. if you're not in the game, you don't have these opportunities. You don't take, you're not able to take advantage of these opportunities. And um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when they happen. Yeah. And sometimes you miss them. That's the other thing too, is you're going to miss these and you're going to get these. And there was a million trades before you. There's going to be a million trades after you. And realistically, you're going to miss more trades than by miss. I mean, you don't see them. They go by, go by your way because we can only focus on one thing at a time okay. and just happen to be in the right place, at the right time for this moment. But because the software indicated this is a good time to get in, you can actually be in and take advantage of those opportunities. That's right. Awesome. Coach Dave, thank you very much for sharing this with uh, our audience. I know they really appreciate it. And thank you for joining us, everybody. This has been the Trader Genius a daily stock option review for March 7, 2019. Uh, our goal is just to show you that there's opportunities to make uh, 10% in trade. We used to say 10% in 10 minutes, and here was, uh, you know, two 20% in uh, in under five minutes, well, six minutes and three minutes. So uh, that's that's pretty good. Um, and key is having the right tools, which is the software, having the right training, the right mindset, which comes from our membership and from our coaching program, and, and then being able to practice. So we have the simulator, which goes back eight years. You can practice in up markets, down markets, sideways markets, any type of market you can think of, uh, and make sure that the rules that you create for your successful training, which usually you do with your coach, uh, work, because there's a... I had a friend who in the 80s was trading, a day trading, and he made a fortune. And I said, there, how did you do that? He said, Scott, every stock was going through the roof for 10 years. You couldn't not make a fortune. And there were not really, I don't think, in those days anymore. But uh, you need to have the, the proper tools and the proper training. And, uh, and if you're interested in it, get a hold of us. We'll give you a 10-day free trial put you together with Coach Jay and get you started on the right foot. This is not something that you want to, uh, you know, take a, get a book and read and then uh, think that you're an expert on uh, trading options because it's not the way it works. So any last comments, Coach Jay, before we go? Uh, yeah, just to kind of piggyback on that, trading is an art. It's really good if you can find a mentor or a coach to help you kind of understand the nuances and learn your own style or your own art of trading thanks for joining us everybody we'll see you next time bye bye Yeah. <laughs>